as a player, I would say <laughs> when you, you start off the league, you have to be ready for all the games. I mean, we've had players leave, but well, well, um, it happened. Some of them uh, probably were not grateful because um, we've done a lot for them. Uh, I cannot mention um, to detail what we've done for them, but uh, we thought they should have, um, shouldn't have jumped ship uh, now before even the season ends. Um, uh, well, I can see some of them are a little indisciplined, but well, stuff happens. Um, Going into the league, we, we expect uh, the other players that are available to be in. Uh, we have uh, Matthias Socho should be back. Uh, Captain Marshall is a bit busy now, committed with work, but we know he'll be back for, for the league. Um, we, there are new players that are coming in. We are, we are hopeful. We will be good for that team, for the season. manage the team, how we manage players. Uh, we feel that we, we need to invest more in, in young talent and that's what we are focusing on this season. Uh, we have older players who are going to back up the young, the young guys and I think we, we start something new. I think one of the biggest challenges we have right now in rugby is uh, it's an amateur sport that is transiting a bit too fast into pretending to be professional. And that's causing a lot of movement of players, but at the same time, uh, we need to be ensure that we have mechanisms to manage it as clubs and uh, as teams. And with us, what we're doing now is, is we're rebuilding, focusing on old players, working with the young guys, and I believe we, we shall do a good job this year.
my role as a coach is to work with the team that I have. Uh, we have quite a number of young players. I think we, we have quite a number of senior players who have also stayed with the side. Um, we do know that other teams are also trying to consolidate, knowing that uh, we finished second last year, which is good for the club. Uh, this year we want to build on that and we'll see how it goes. I have a, a young a young pop coming up and I will give that to him, which is uh, Chivumbi Sol. I'll give that to him because um, since uh, Chivumbi Sol joined Rhinos, he has improved tremendously and uh, I believe he's one of the youngest pop to look forward to. I think uh, as a coach, there'll, there'll be quite a number of surprises. Uh, for Seoul, I think it's, it's been uh, way coming. He has performed well for us last season. I think he was one of our top try scorers, surprisingly, as a forward. So it tells you that his work rate is, is pretty good. Uh, it's what earned him a call up on the national team. Unfortunately, he got injured during one of the, the games, the national, I think that was against uh, Namibia. But uh, he's a brilliant player and this year, I'm sure there's more to him that's going to surprise everyone. I think he should surpass what he did last year. But we also have quite a number of other, of other players who are going to, to do well, I think, in this season. Which players in particular? I say we have David Otui. He's been around for a while, but I think this should be his uh, explosive season. We have Arnold Kiza, our, our flyer, our new kid on the block. And I think he's going to do well as well. So, but there, there are quite a number of others. I mean, we have uh, a new scrum off also. So the, the team is growing again, and I said that we're investing in talent, and we're going to give these kids a, a good run on the pitch this year, and I'm sure they're going to perform well. You know, rugby is a 15-man game. It's not a one-man game. So I have to talk for the entire team and for the entire club. We are lacking because most of our key players have been taken away from us. Uh, so we are just trying to regroup, but trust me, we are still going to fight. Regardless of uh, who has gone and uh, who is there, we are still going to fight. And uh, that is uh, Rhinos. I've seen Rhinos in the worst situation than this. When I joined Rhinos, that was uh, in 2007. So Rhinos was in the worst situation than this. So I believe we are going to regroup and come back. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you can't dream of being number one, there's no need to play in the league. You know, uh, we, we don't play just for the sake of participating. We play to compete. And uh, as coach, that's my job, to make sure that we have a team that can compete. And with the squad that we have for this year, I believe we are going to give everyone a run for their money. Um, most people are looking at us as a, a non-contender. And I think that's always good. You know, uh, we know we have our plan. Uh, management is doing their best to ensure that the boys are facilitated. Our sponsor, Shell Rimula, have us packed well. Uh, so I think we, we should have a good season. I just want to first uh, give a big uh, hand of applause to the Rhinos fan for the last season. They've been so supportive and we are so grateful for that support. And uh, no matter what is happening with Rhinos today, Rhinos being depleted, so I just want them that I just want to tell them that they should come massively and support the younger ones that we are trying to mold into better rugby player. They should not uh, stop with uh, their support, no matter the result, no matter the circumstances. But uh, it's always good to go back down and uh, regroup and come back out stronger. So, yeah, thank you too.